Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? So now I'm going to be talking about CHIPS or CIPS, uh, which stands for Chinese International Payment System and what that is. Uh, Chinese International Payment System is cross-border payment system established by People's Bank of China, PBOS. Chinese, uh, other, other, in other words, Chinese Central Bank. It was launched in October 2015 and is designed to facilitate international trade and financial transactions denominated in Chinese renminbi or yuan. Okay, right. So, in the, basically, as you probably aware, a lot of uh, currencies and overall transactions, especially international transactions, uh, at one point, were, most of those transactions was done by United States dollars, which was more of the thing in the past, where now, uh, that is the reason why it was done uh, this particular way. I have done a lot of research to understand it where it would determine of exchange so based on how many goods have been exchanged worldwide and how many of those uh, executions would be there to be delivered worldwide right so most of the countries they would need to have equal right so the, the number of goods to be exchanged within the country how much they're purchasing and how much they actually uh selling goods uh to determine equal i don't know if it's accurate right but this is a research that i've done is uh, perhaps more more of the smaller countries and how the those smaller countries would operate and uh if they had surplus of trade or uh they would sell more goods or buy more goods either way so uh most of the time to make it uh, perhaps, I don't know if it's accurate, right? So it's just the research that I did, right? Uh, it, so most of the time, all the countries would agree to exchange in one denominated currency, that would be United States dollars. And uh, this, this this thing is more of the past, I guess, and just based on the share value of how many goods are being exchanged. Uh, I believe that currently, uh, United States dollar is uh, in the first place. Euros might be in the second place, but I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate and those figures might be changing. Either, either way, a lot of countries are looking to move away from that system since, uh, as you're probably aware, uh, it's ba uh, overall money is based on trust. Trust that I will take uh, either currency, that would be euros, pounds, dollars, whatever, whichever currency, that I will receive uh, my salary or payment within that particular currency. And trust will begin that I will take that currency, I will be able to take it to the grocery shop or whichever place you can think of, and I would be able to exchange that currency for goods. So that's the trust. So, uh, how much tax, how much cost, right? So, uh, the currency, not necessarily compared to other currencies out there, wouldn't necessarily fluctuate that rapidly and all of that. So, there would be some trust in there. So, it's all only thing was uh, since we moved away from a gold standard. The currency is just a paper, for some reason it became a paper, but it doesn't really mean anything, so it's not uh, necessary back to anything. Uh, they might change that uh, as things might go along, they might implement some, some of the changes there. But currency, coming back to the point, and the reason why I'm making this video, what might, uh, might be worth mentioning, the all the, covering all the bases, right? So, a dollar, where it used to be exchange uh, they will continue to move away from uh, petrol dollars all of that jazz so basically they're looking to move away from that right so what they're looking to do uh, to have countries to change uh, within their own currencies right for to pay for oil to pay for any goods uh, so more the countries that are looking to start doing that and to do that some of the countries out there are large come uh, uh, well, China, what is that? Well, number one, number two economies in the world, they are looking to develop their own systems and something that will be covered in this video. The primary purpose of CHIPS is to provide more efficient and convenient platform for settle, uh, settling 
cross-border transactions in RMBs or Yuan. Uh, I know Yuan, I heard about it, I, I had never had uh, Yuan, but I don't know what RMBs. There might be some uh, Chinese, another currency, I guess. Before the settlement, I need to travel more, I guess. <laughs> I need to visit China, I guess, and use some of the RMB, I guess, I guess. Uh, before the settlement of chips, many trans uh, tra international transactions involving the Chinese currencies have to be processed throughout correspondent banks in other countries, which could be time consuming and costly if or converting currencies right so it's one of the key areas you cover here if anything then you buy other currency to settle all the transactions you would still pay fees for buying other currencies which i'm not necessarily agree on to buy other currencies in the first place there are some projects up there who <laughs> On the blockchain projects that you might know of, that they would uh, even there they will try to determine value of particular currencies. But either way, the, uh, uh, there are a lot of projects there. There are a lot of talented people, I guess, who are doing their best. Chips uh, aims to streamline the this process and promote the use of RMBs in international trade and finance. Key features of chips or Chinese international payment systems uh, which is Chinese central bank uh, systems include 24-7 operations chips operates around the clock allowing the real-time processing of cross borders RMB transactions which can improve the speed and efficiency of international trade direct connectivity chips allow direct connectivity for uh, financial institutions and participants reducing the need for uh, intermediaries in the cross-border transactions enhanced risk management the system incorporates advanced risk management features to ensure the security and uh, reliability of transactions there are uh, a lot of interesting projects uh, completed within people's republic of china I don't want to promote any of those companies, but either way, for those of you who are interested in perhaps diversifying or investing in different companies, there are some projects out there. Perhaps those, some of those projects currently, for whatever reason, or <laughs> maybe, we're not doing that great, but uh, if we have a really good idea and we have a really good talented people behind the project, they might be successful, if not right now, uh, if it's uh, undervalued, it can say, uh, I mean, undervalue current uh, price of the company might be good time to invest in the company, and they might change management if that's something that might be required. And there, there are a lot of potential there. That's what I'm trying to say. Broad uh, convertage chips is designed to cover a wide range of financial institutions, including banks, non-bank financial institutions, and other agile participants. Support for various payment types. It supports various types of RMB payments, including both wholesale and retail payment. Uh, as well as, uh, I believe that most of them, I don't know if that's correct, right? But uh, I believe they have perhaps more advanced systems of making payments, and I have seen some of the projects out there uh, where you can uh, make seamless payments, right, for goods and services. Uh, there might be more centralized way of making payments in different regions, so that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, there are some interesting projects out there. There might be uh, a similar projects to be launched in the future in other regions as well. But for those who are interested, there are some opportunities out there. Global reach, while CHIPS uh, was initially established to facilitate RMB transactions for trade with China, has the potential to expand in global reach as the use of RMB's international trade and financial continues to grow. For those of you who like to learn more, I would highly recommend to purchase my book. In the book, I'm sharing a lot of information. 
So this particular book, I'm sharing information with everything, what you would need to know with regards to fitness. Uh, myself, I have put a lot of work into it, uh, understanding this industry very well from uh, hands-on experience to something that I've been there, done it, have seen everything. Well, <laughs> you can only imagine some of, some of the things that I saw in the industry, but either way, uh, myself, I've been lifting weights and working out all my life as far as I can remember. So, so I'm very excited about this opportunity to share all my knowledge and expertise in the work and leave you to decide if it's something that could benefit you greatly. That was the objective I was trying to achieve with this book. Uh, you can find this book in the description below as well as Top Retailers has it. Chips play a crucial role in China's efforts to internationalize its currency and reduce its dependence on US dollar in international transactions. It provides an alternative to established international payment systems like SWIFT, uh, something that I covered in the last video, for settling transactions involving Chinese currency. However, in adopting an use of this particular system may vary depending on the willingness of international businesses and financial institutions to use RMB in their transactions. Compared to that particular system, there might currently there might be such a widespread adoption, but if it works and there's some pushback of reasons why yourself as a business you would like to diversify, uh, there are different systems out there. You just need to sit down and perhaps do some research. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next one.